It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all of course. Heavily hunted species, like white-tailed deer, gray squirrels, and raccoons, were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators actually preferred them. Shrimp farmers used to hold animals in nursery ponds for 30 to 60 days, now they try to move them into grow-out ponds in less than 30 days. This reduces stress on the animals and dramatically increases survivals in the grow-out ponds. Many farms that abandon nursery ponds have gone back to them, and the results have been surprisingly positive. They're using the old, uncovered, earthen, nursery ponds. Usually, age is determined by physical characteristics, such as teeth or bones. Great, if you have a body. Researchers have tried unsuccessfully to use blood. But in this study, the scientists used immune cells called T cells. T cells recognize invaders through receptors that match molecules on bacteria, viruses, even tumors. The cellular activity that produces these receptors also produces a type of circular DNA molecule as a byproduct. DeLone and McLean's model has been criticized by some authors. Indeed, this model is specific to contexts of voluntary use of information technology. The usage variable remains a success variable of information systems if the user himself decides to adopt or reject the technology. However, for mandatory uses, such as for ERP systems, the use of the technology is obvious. The success of information systems cannot, therefore, be measured by usage.
The researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White Rump Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargoto start growing again at the other end of the world. The initial thud comes from when those dorsal bursa collide, and the reverberation results from the vibrations that linger when the tissues pull apart. But though the younger says the bursa have to be somewhat sticky for the clapping together and snapping apart to produce a noise with the correct loudness and pitch, that stickiness comes courtesy of the mucus. The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing of bud burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars, of course, that are important. But the knock-on effect is on nesting birds, which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars. The university library has most of the necessary books. The university library has most of the necessary books. Your thesis should have fairly limited scopes. Your thesis should have fairly limited scopes. You are required to complete the research paper by next Monday. You are required to complete the research paper by next Monday. The coffee house has special student discount throughout the week. The coffee house has special student discount throughout the week. The schedule allows a plenty of time for individual study. The schedule allows a plenty of time for individual study. The qualification will be assessed with the criterion to approach. The qualification will be assessed with the criterion to approach. All writers consciously or unconsciously all represent their culture. All writers consciously or unconsciously all represent their culture. 
the decision is made with supports of many faculty members. The decision is made with supports of many faculty members. Reference of material is held in the Hall of Library Reference Desk. Reference of material is held in the Hall of Library Reference Desk. It is important to allocate your time wisely when revising change. It is important to allocate your time wisely when revising change. The leading companies change their policies after report are released. The leading companies change their policies after report are released. Students' identification card will be issued by today and tomorrow. Students' identification card will be issued by today and tomorrow.
I'm a researcher at the MIT Media Lab, part of the Opera of the Future group, and my research focuses on the relationship people have with their own voice and with the voices of others. I study what we can learn from listening to voices, from the various fields, from neurology to biology, cognitive sciences, linguistics. In our group we create tools and experiences to help people gain a better applied understanding of their voice in order to reduce the biases, to become better listeners, to create more healthy relationship or just to understand themselves better. And this really has to come with a holistic approach on the voice. Because think about all the applications and implications that the voice may have, as we discover more about it. Your voice is a very complex phenomenon. It requires a synchronization of more than 100 muscles in your body. And by listening to the voice, we can understand possible failures of what happens inside. As an individual caught selling a large quantity of drugs in my late teens, I knew firsthand the power of opportunity as opposed to the wrath of the criminal justice system. Along the way, with the help and guidance of my district attorney, my supervisor and judges, I learned the power of the prosecutor to change lives instead of ruining them. And that's how we do it in Boston. We helped a woman who was arrested for stealing groceries to feed her kids get a job. Instead of putting an abused teenager in adult jail for punching another teenager, we secured mental health treatment and community supervision. A runaway girl who was arrested for prostituting, to survive on the streets, needed a safe place to live and grow, something we could help her with. I even helped a young man who was so afraid of the older gang kids showing up after school, that one morning instead of a lunchbox into his backpack, he put a loaded 9mm. We would spend our time that we'd normally take prepping our cases for months and months for trial down the road by coming up with real solutions to the problems as they presented. What do we call the home of some kinds of wild animals like foxes? Which word can be used to describe an inexperienced person, fledgling or veteran? What do we call the natural color of the skin on a person's face? What should we call a permanent mark on a person's skin since his or her birth? <laughs> 